and many sorties it would be just as you see today aerobatic uh, aerobatic flight John coming for the uh, store turn it's a boot for a rudder as he brings the chipmunk yours around maintaining their energy as he turns again what a wonderful machine now obviously the chipmunk doesn't have the power of the modern day tutor so as we already said, it's all about energy management. That's why John started his display high and he's working down towards his minimum display height. And of course, I know we're enjoying this. It could quite help an air pass part of the uh, many equations involved in aerodynamics generally. All just you know, temperatures are more nifty. Yes, very true. And today, uh, because we're blessed with this beautiful weather, it wasn't uh, something that came from the of Friday. Uh, the chipmunk is having to work extremely hard to compensate with this a higher ambient temperature. Now John himself, he was taught by uh, somebody you've already seen fly today, the legendary Charlie Brown. And uh, he obtained his QPL at a young age, he was only 18 when he got it, uh, quickly went on to ob obtain his display authorization. Uh, in 2009, I think he was age 20 then, and uh, was believed to be the youngest display pilot. As you can see today, the skills that John's, uh, or Charlie taught on to John, have been well demonstrated. John is in his eighth uh, display season. He's got over 400 hours on the, the Havilland Chipmunk. I'm sure you agree he's doing a fantastic job out there today. He absolutely is. And we've talked about uh, basic flight training and experience flight. Of course, if you start a flight, it's a flight Yeah, he was. You probably know all about this. He's called War Warriors, if you like. Back in the... Uh, uh, and that was conducted from RAF Gatlin, initially known as Operation Schooner and later Operation Nylon. It was codenamed for the uh, name employee for the operation obtaining intelligence by means of aerial photography over the dozens of Soviet and East German installations within the Berlin controlled uh, zone back here, uh, obviously, before uh, the war came down. On at least two occasions, bullet holes were discovered in the aircraft, hence the safety of flight not guaranteed, stamped on the overflight permit. Uh, flying through designated air corridors, they gathered huge amounts of imagery and helped maintain the balance of power between the east and the west. So here's John coming in for his run and break. So John is just playing the brake line. And uh, that concludes our display. Thank you. Well, Chris, thank you very much. Thanks, on our thanks to everyone involved. Always a delight to see a chipmunk. It may not be the fastest, <laughs> it may not be the biggest, it may not be the loudest, but today is all about RF-100 and this aircraft has played a major part in that 100 years. Well that's great, thank you Andrew, and uh, that's a, a fitting tribute for an aircraft, as you say, it's played such an important part in the Royal Air Force and introduced so many young aviators to a career in aviation. So just as the uh, chipmunk completes its display with the landing, just a reminder, Planes TV are here again today producing the official RF Cosford Airshow 2018 uh, DVD. They have a very good central location, right on the front, right in the centre of the, the uh, crowd area. If you look out for their black marquee with a big flag with DVD on it, cost for the DVD just £20, order it before you leave. They will give you a DVD to take home with you and then post the finished copy through to you as soon as it is available. And also our thanks to Key Publishing, who are here at the show today. They have a location towards the right-hand side of the crowd line. Look out for the big fly-pass flag. They publish all your favourite aviation magazines, including Airplane, fly Pass, Air Forces Monthly, Aviation News, Airline the World, and Combat Aircraft. Please, uh, make sure you both Planes TV and keep publishing a visit before you leave the airfield today. 
still so much more to see, so much to do, lots to interact with, lots of opportunity to eat, drink, party with some of your hard-earned cash, have a look around all the hangers, all the displays, try and tick off all the Jaguars we have here, now that would be a feat. <laughs>